Yo, what is up guys? Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Thanks for tuning in, and if you're subscribed and you're watching my videos, thanks a lot, it really helps. I've written down everyone's name. You're gonna get something special one day, because you're my earlier subscribers. Boom, shakalaka, you're welcome. So, this tutorial is being made upon request from a friend of mine, Jared, who is a fellow YouTuber who I met through YouTube. He reached out to me through my channel, really liked my work, and he's asking for some help. He said, hey Max, could you help me with some audio trouble I'm having? My audio has me breathing in the background, and it's loud in the audio. Could you help me fix that? Which I'll gladly help out. And FYI, if anyone wants to reach out for help on something, or have a question about how something is made, some crazy effect you see on the internet, send it to me. I'll break it down and make a tutorial about it. Unless it's just crazy complicated and you're crazy. But you know, whatever. We'll try our best. Okay. So to jump right in, assuming that your audio track has been brought into Premiere or Final Cut or something like that and you want to edit it, um, right here I have something I put together already. It's just to ignore the video part that says audio stuff. It's just for visual pleasure, I promise. But the audio track is right here. So let's go ahead and listen to it to see what it sounds like. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. So if you listen closely, you can hear some breathing in the background, and there is the, like, constant hiss of the background noise, which isn't a big deal. But, and this isn't a bad audio clip by any means, it can obviously be a lot worse. And, but, it can be doctored up and fixed some. But we're not going to do this in Premiere. So what you're going to do to get started with something like this is you're going to grab your clip. This is just like a pet peeve of mine. You can do it without doing this, but I'd suggest doing this. It'll save you some time. So you're going to click Option and just drag down and duplicate the clip. So option, drag down, duplicate the clip. Really, really simple. Um, I've already done it right here. And when you do that, um, you'll right click it, and you'll do edit clip in Adobe Audition, which will open up Audition. And I've already done that, and it's been opened up in Adobe Audition. So here we go, clip opened up, same thing. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. And if you've never used Adobe Audition, it's really similar to Premiere. It's just for editing audio. You can go to a multi-track, and eh, I'm not gonna get into it, but you can edit audio. Okay, so if it looks weird or your audition looks different than mine, really easy to fix that. Go to Window, Workspace, Classic. Boom, we're in Classic mode now. So the time is two seconds and 2.644 seconds. I think you got it, boom. So we just wanna get rid of the hiss in this audio, which the breathing is kind of in the background. So I think right in the middle is where it kinda sounds we can hear. Okay, so you can kind of hear a breath. Hear that? We can hear that. So we want to remove that noise. So this right here. So if I click and drag, you can kind of highlight a section of the clip. Okay. Okay, but we don't want to highlight this this uh this uh this click. So what we'll do is we'll take in our timeline and we'll zoom in and we'll drag over and we'll actually so it's this right here we want to kind of dim this down to like nothing Whatever. cool now we'll highlight all of this I got rid of the click for good reason we don't want to get rid of clicks we want to get rid of the hiss and the breath right so we dimmed down the click noise what we're gonna do is go to effects noise reduction restoration capture the noise print and what this is doing is capturing this print it's like memorizing what's in this selection then what we'll do is we'll unhighlight um, and because we're gonna analyze the entire thing if you're just doing a section of the audio to fix you can highlight and only edit that section but since we're doing the entire thing we can just you know not highlight anything Go to effects noise reduction and restoration noise reduction process Capture noise print has been, you know, grayed out because we're not selecting anything. And if you don't, you know, capture the noise print, this dialog a dialog box will pop up and say you haven't done it. And you need to do it. So, what we can do, uh, kind of just do a default preset and have this button turned on right here and hit play. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know. Whatever. We'll talk about this later. Okay, right off the bat, it sounds kind of funny. Obviously, the hiss is gone, but I think we can kind of finagle with the uh, settings in here, and it'll sound a lot better. So, 
I'll be honest. Sometimes I'm just kind of fiddling around until it sounds good. Uh, I'm not a audio expert by any means, but I like to play around with it and fix my own problems when I have to. Um, it's good to learn, you know, be versed in this kind of stuff. But, and we'll just play the audio, and I'm just going to play with some settings. You can watch me as we go. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? And click apply. Now, I'm not saying this is the best method to get rid of hiss in your audio. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. But it does kind of help. So once you do something like that, you click File, Save. It saves your file back into Premiere. And this has now been affected. As you can see, the actual waveform does look a little bit different. And what I would do is play this back with this one turned off. Look. Go. Look. It's not that I... Sounds the same. Actually turn this volume on this one down a lot. I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. Probably take this volume down to like, you know, negative 35. Go. Look, it's not that I forgot about you. It's just I was so caught up with all my friends, you know? Whatever. We'll talk about this later. And there you have it. Hiss and the breathing is pretty much removed. Go. Now because Look, the breathing the now because the breathing actually interlaces with the vocals, it's really hard to completely get rid of it and make it sound perfect. But Look, it's not that this I is a I like pretty straightforward way of removing hiss or <sighs> noises from your audio because you can analyze the uh, frequency or something like that and remove it. So definitely I'm not the certified expert in audio, but I try to use Audition and that's what I mainly use it for is little things like that. So yeah. This has been how to remove hiss from audio. Thanks, Jared, for the inspiration. Made this for you, bud. Shout out. Woo woo. All right. As always, guys, I'm Max. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you enjoy the tutorial stuff, definitely subscribe for that. And comment down below on some of my content stuff. If you like it, I will interject some other videos here. Click on one of these four videos to watch my other stuff. Haven't decided on which ones I'm putting in the, the card yet, but you should watch them and learn. And, you know, vidspiration, stuff like that. So, yep, I'm rambling. Talk to you next time, guys. Peace.